This is Tim Miles uh, reading Leave It to Smith by uh, P.G. Wodehouse, page 20. The more he contemplated the venture which he had undertaken, the less alluring did it appear to him. His was not a keen imagination, but even he could shape with a gruesome clearness a vision of the frightful bust-up that would ensue should he be detected stealing his Aunt Constance's ne diamond necklace. Common decency would in such an event seal his lips as regarded his Uncle Joseph's share in the matter. And even if, as m c might conceivably happen, common decency failed at the crisis, reason told him that his Uncle Joseph would infallibly disclaim any knowledge of or connection with the rash act. And then where would he be? In the soup, undoubtedly. For Freddy could not conceal it from himself, that there was nothing in his previous record to make it seem inconceivable to his nearest and dearest that he should steal the jewelry of a female relative for purely personal ends. The verdict in the event of detection would be one of uncompromising condemnation. And yet he hated the idea of meekly allowing that two thousand pounds to escape from his clutch. A young man's crossroads.